We finally did it, everybody. For the first time ever, we are stocked with a brand new motorhome. Mercedes. Mercedes. This is a 2023 Sunseeker MBS 2400B, but she's built on a 2024 Mercedes chassis. This honker has a gross vehicle weight rating of 11,030 pounds and has a total length of 25 feet 5 inches from tongue to bumper. Nice outdoor party zone out here. Great place to watch round two of the playoffs. Lion's going to smoke the bucks on that TV right there. Um, we got two outdoor speakers, so we got stereo audio out here, and that's all underneath our underlit awning. Around the back, we do have a receiver hitch down below, so you can add some more goodies. Uh, backup camera is mounted up top. Continuing around the corner, we got our uh, Cummins generator down there. Up here is your outdoor shower. You got your tanks. We got a really weird storage area. Um, perfect size for fitting. Uh, I don't even know what would be this size. What would you store in there? What would you store in there? Let me, let me know in the comments. What, what would you store? Coming around to the uh, driver's door here. I don't even know what to do with this part of the video because we never have drivables. It's got this whole friggin' iPad thing up front. I don't really know exactly how to operate this. It's kind of got me feeling like a boomer right now. No offense, boomers. I love you all. I could just hop into the back right now, but I'm going to make you guys go around through the front door. Mercedes. And here we go, everyone. Oh, missed the handle. Let's try that. We're gonna try that again. Take two. And here we go, everyone. Wowie flipping zowie. I guess we can uh, start in this entrance kitchen area. Elegant sound system here. Uh, we got our little in command guy here. Control all your lights, slides, etc. If that's not working, you also got another control panel down below. That will do it manually for you. Uh, extendable countertop space here. Wowie zowie. Maximize our countertop space with this sink cover. Uh, we got a detachable faucet and an undermount sink so we can wipe those crumbs right in there. Under here it looks like a two burner gas stove. And we have a microwave. So no oven in this thing. Just the microwave. Mercedes. I believe this is a 10 cubic foot refrigerator. We got that travel lock built on so all these brews here will not be able to spill out while you're hauling down the road. Continuing to the very back of this honker, through this door we will find our bathroom. Uh, right on the wall here actually we have a nice little towel rack, saves you some space by being on hinges. We have a little counter cover for the bathroom sink as well, you see we have that motion sensor light down below. Erm, um, little vanity area, some storage in there, you know, down below porcelain foot flush and then we got a uh, standing walk-in shower with the old skylight we also got some hooks up here so plenty of towel storage in this john let's head on out the door we're gonna take a left we find our bed bed's a little funny looking if you haven't noticed it's a wedge bed so when you slide this closed um top half of the bed will slide over the bottom half you won't have to fold anything up just saves you a little bit of time and it's more comfortable than you would imagine some reading lights up top tv mounted across from your bed as well so you can watch your movies with your honey baby while you're snuggling um tons and tons of closet storage huge drawers here actually wowie zowie okay you guys let's uh, head on up to the front of this thing if you're camping with friends or kids you can uh, draw this curtain for privacy um, you can latch it, otherwise it will retract on its own. And of course you're going to want this sucker buttoned up nice and tight while you're going down the road. We got some uh, multi-purpose cupboard slash drawer storage here. Do whatever you want with that. It's up to you, man. I know all my followers are free thinkers. You can figure out what you want to do with that. Um, same with this, you know, pop a remote in there if you want, but I'm not going to tell you you have to. On the wall here behind our chairs, we got our outlets, USB in, USB-C, very convenient. We got cup holders in our dual theater recliners. We also got these uh, little TV dinner tray thingy mabobs. USB ports on these things, and they recline automatically with the push of a button. Last but certainly not least, um, up here we have another bed. This will actually come off. You can store it up there to give yourself more headroom in the cockpit here. Otherwise, this is another bed. You got some booster seats or something in here. Chat, what is that for? I have no idea. And then, you know, you got curtains here for privacy too. Oh, there's actually one on each side, so they meet in the middle. But uh, 
I suppose that does give me the opportunity to do one of these. Bada bing, and you can mount that ladder in the middle. It's actually supposed to be mounted right here. Um, it's currently just in the travel position. So you're gonna wanna keep the ladder in the travel position while you're going down the road, otherwise it's gonna be a hazard to everyone in here. Mercedes. If you have any questions on this beautiful Mercedes, please give me a call, the phone is in the bio.